Okay, this section is on logarithmic functions, and logarithmic functions solve exponential functions for the exponent. In other words, logs are just exponents. Think of it that way. One can convert between exponential form to logarithmic form using this identity. Y equals b to the x is the same as x equals log to the base b of y. That's the way you read this. So you're going to have to be able to convert these uh, to different forms. So let's go ahead and do a couple here. Let's convert the function f of x equals 10 to the x to logarithmic form. Okay, the f of x is playing the role of y. Okay, that's your y. y equals 10 to the x. So now we have that, and that's in that form, exponential form. The, the exponent is up in the, uh, um, ex well, the, expo the variable is up in the exponent. So we know that that's the same as x equals log base b of y. So what's up in the exponent? Log solve for the exponent. So what's ever in the exponent goes by itself on the left-hand side here. So we got x equals log base, well, whatever the base is. The base is 10. So log base 10 of, well, what's left? y. Okay. So that's how we would write that problem. x equals log base 10. It's like a subscript of y. Now it turns out that we deal in base 10 all the time and we say 2 and 2 is 4, not 2 plus 2 is 1, 3 base 4 or something like that. So we deal with that so much that we don't have to put the 10 there. In fact, if you see the word log written without a subscript of 10, it is assumed to be 10. So we would write the answer to this problem as x equals log y. So x equals log y and y equals 10 to the x, they're the same equations just written in different formats. One is written in uh, exponential form and one is written in logarithmic form. Okay, One solves for the exponent, that's what the log does. Okay, let's try this one, 1000 equals 10 to the x. Well, we would say x, start off with the, the exponent, x equals log base 10 or just log of whatever you're whatever is on the other side here, your y, which is 1,000. So x equals log of 1,000. Now, you can find out what the log is of 1,000 by uh, on Excel. Just use any sheet, and I'm going to be using this sheet here pretty soon, the solver sheet. And you don't have to use this sheet, but any sheet to just um, uh, t any white cell that you can type in, type in equals log parentheses 1,000, close parentheses, hit enter, and you get 3, and that's what the log of 1,000 is. And after all, that's what 10 would need to be raised to. It would need to be raised to the third power to get 1,000. So that's the answer to that. Well, um, let's see what we got here. Let's go to this one. Here's an exponential function. You see uh, e as a base often in exponential function. This problem says 7 equals e to the x. And again, e is just that number that we had in a previous section, that 2.718281828 and it doesn't repeat, but it keeps on going on forever. And it's used often in math. And so we got 7 equals e to the x. How would we write that in logarithmic form? Well, log solve for exponents. So we say x equals the log base, well, the base is e, log base e of the 7. Now, log base e is another common log. Okay, there's two common logs. Log base 10, which we would just call log without any base whatsoever. Right, uh, let's see where we do that. I think right here. No base seen, the base is assumed to be 10. Now here, if you have log base E, that's called the natural log, and that's written LN. I guess most people really use a capital L, but uh, you could write little L as well. But uh, if you see LN, that stands for uh, natural log, I guess log natural, but uh, that means base E. So that's the way you would write this. X equals natural log of 7. And how could we get the natural log of 7? Well, just on any sheet, I'll just use this one. I'll just type in equals LN of 7, close parentheses, and hit enter. And I get 1.9, yada, yada, yada. And that's how you can get logs. Okay. Uh, also, you might be wondering how do you get E on uh, Excel. You can get E. I may have said this before on a on uh, a different video, but you can get e, the number e by doing e equals exp parentheses 1, and that will get you e to the first power, which is approximately right here. If you need to uh, take e and raise it to a power, then you do not um, use the caret up. Like if you want to know what e is to the uh, fifth power, you just do exp parentheses 5, and that's going to get you, oh, i got to do the equals. 
So let me type a equals in here, equals exp of 5, and that is really e to the fifth, no carrot up. Um, so let's get on to another example here, and here's a tough one. At, uh, this one says, rewrite the equation 3 to the x equals 18 in logarithmic form and solve. Uh, anytime you have an exponential equation, uh, Excel is going to give you a better answer if you write it in logarithmic form. Okay, if you have a variable up in the exponent, if you write it in logarithmic form and solve it, you'll get a more precise answer. So this equation, 3 to the x equals 18, in logarithmic form, you would say, well, what's the exponent? It's x equals log base, what? The base is 3 of the 18. Okay, now, most calculators, well, I don't know of any calculator that has a log base anything button, but you can do this on Excel. We need to take uh, the log base 3 of 18. And the way you do that on Excel is any sheet, again, just any sheet, just do uh, equals log parentheses. And underneath here, you'll see number comma base. Now, I didn't need to say the base when I was dealing with base 10. But if it's any other base, I need to say it. So I'm taking the log of 18 comma the base was 3. And that's the way you type it in. When I hit enter, this is what the log base 3 of 18 is right there. Now, to solve that same problem, uh, 3 of the x equals 18 by hand, uh, that's rather difficult, and we will get to that, but it's going to have to wait till the next video. So at this point, we're going to have to hold up, but I will show you we can also solve this on the solver sheet. Uh, uh, let's go to the solver sheet a second, and in this side, I'll type equals 3 raised to the x and hit enter, and on this side, I think it was 18, so I'll just type in 18, hit enter, and... Uh, if I click solve here, then it goes through its gyrations and that, and it gets the answer of 2.63. If you think about it, 3 of the first is 3, 3 of the second is 9, 3 of the third is 27. So it's somewhere between 2 and 3, and it, it gets it right there. So we'll go on to the next video, but hopefully when it comes to these uh, uh, problems where it says convert something from exponential to logarithmic form or from logarithmic form to exponential form, you say, I can do they, these problems. I, I can, as long as I don't have to parallel park. Okay, as long as you don't have to parallel park.